Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Carlene. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the fragrances that I have in my collection that are classified as celebrity fragrances, but smell expensive. I mean, really expensive. I've tested out a few celebrity fragrances, especially as I've just started my collection. I kind of was like on this buying frenzy where I just bought a bunch of stuff and I've since sold a lot of things. But these celebrity fragrances have stayed in my collection because I feel like they are so expensive smelling and you would not be able to tell that I had on a celebrity fragrance if you smelled me. So if you're interested in seeing what I've got today, then please keep watching. Welcome back to all of my existing subscribers. I'm so excited to have you back with me today. And to all of you who have just found this video, on this channel I do lifestyle luxury, I do review videos, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of my motherhood journey as a homeschooling mom of three. So if those sound like things that interest you, we would love to have you here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on your notifications so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get started. The first fragrance I have here, pardon the bottle. I don't know why my bottle looks so oily. I think it's because I had some oil on my hands earlier. This fragrance is an amber fragrance. It's an amber floral fragrance. I actually have two fragrances from the same celebrity to share with you all today. And the fragrance and celebrity I'm talking about is the original Kim Kardashian perfume. So this one is Kim Kardashian Gold. And this is the first one of hers that I purchased. After I purchased this one, I started to hear about the next one I'm going to show you. So I ended up getting another one, but this is the first one. And I'll share with you all why I love this fragrance so much. This fragrance has very deep, dark, rich, ambery, floral, sweet notes. And it's definitely one of those fragrances that you either wear at night or it would be nice in the fall and winter because it's very rich and ambery and resinous and sensual, very sweet, very sexy as well. And it's just beautiful. I think there's a bergamot at the top of this because it opens up pretty bright. And I think there's also a pink pepper in here. Let me grab my phone. Fragrantica lists the notes as amber, citrus, woody, warm, spicy, powdery, patchouli, musky, fresh, spicy, balsamic, and soft, spicy. I didn't know there was a fresh, spicy. I don't know that I've come across it yet, but fresh, spicy sounds interesting. The top notes are grapefruit, bergamot, and pink pepper. Like I said, you guys heard, I smell bergamot and pink pepper right away. At the mid, we have jasmine, violet, and rose. I do get the rose in here. I think the rose is the more prominent floral in here. And then the base is where this perfume really shines. At the base, we have amber, benzoin, patchouli, musk, and sandalwood. And for me, the benzoin and the musk are the most prominent notes. Um, I don't really so much get the patchouli. The patchouli is more of a supportive note, if anything. And then the sandalwood, I'm not really getting a strong sandalwood. So the amber, that benzoin, and the musk are the notes that stand out the most to me in the dry down of this. But this one right here, if you love amber fragrances, you're going to love this cheapy. It is so good. It smells so expensive. This does not last a very long time. You will have to reapply after about four hours. But honestly, for the price, I think I paid $16.99 for this at Marshall's. It's worth it. And this was so good that I went ahead and picked up the first Kim Kardashian fragrance. Hold on. This one right here with the pink writing on it is the first Kim Kardashian fragrance. This one is a floral fragrance. This one has one of my favorite notes in it, tuberose. And although I've heard this compared to the Gucci Bloom perfume, I don't quite agree with that. I don't think it smells like Gucci Bloom. I do own Gucci Bloom. I wore Gucci Bloom today. This is much sweeter much brighter. I feel like this is a white floral that would be easier to wear than Gucci Bloom if you're new to white florals. This one is a lot sweeter in my opinion. This one is so fresh and bright. Mm, this one is so good. It is so good. It's just a beautiful, sweet, fresh, bright white floral. It is so good and it's also very unique. I can see the comparisons to Gucci Blue, but I don't quite, I don't think this is a dupe for it. I think if you buy this thinking it's a dupe for Gucci Bloom, then you will be disappointed. I think they are similar in note structure, but this one, like I said, is a lot sweeter. This is even a little bit powdery. So let's go ahead and look at those notes, shall we? 
So Fragrantica lists the accords as white floral, tuberose, and animalic. And although those are the only accords, I do think that this one is sweet as well. At the top, we have honeysuckle, African orange flower, and mandarin orange. That's that brightness in the opening. The middle notes are gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, and spices. I don't get spices at all from this fragrance, but I do get all of those white florals. I feel like it's a beautiful concoction of all of those white florals with tuberose being the standout white floral in this one. Then at the base, we get tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, orchid, and woodsy notes. At the base, I really just get the sandalwood and that musk. I feel like the tonka bean and the orchid, those woodsy notes are more supportive. But you also get that tuberose all the way at the dry down of this fragrance, which I love. If you don't know, I'm kind of obsessed with tuberose, so I like that. I like that you get the tuberose from beginning to end in this fragrance. So my next fragrance is a fragrance that is so popular here on YouTube, on the forums, you name it. Pretty much anywhere you could think of where fragrance is discussed, this is a popular fragrance. And it's a popular celebrity fragrance because it's been likened to Baccarat Rouge 540. I have smelled Baccarat Rouge 540 on several occasions, and I do not think this is a dupe for it, but it is very similar in note structure. And you get that niche quality and those ozonic and airy vibes with this fragrance. I don't think this is a dupe. I just think it's it's very similar. It's, it's a similar type of fragrance. <laughs> and for a fraction of the cost, I can see why people will get their Baccarat Rouge 540 fix with this fragrance. And if you haven't guessed by now what I'm talking about, it is Cloud by Ariana Grande. And this is my little bottle right here. I've had this fragrance for some months now and I love it for those really hot and muggy days because I just feel like this is so fresh. It's such a fresh fragrance, but it's also sweet. It's like the perfect summertime fragrance. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot more this summer when I want those sweet coconut yet ozonic vibes. Not that you all need to hear the notes again, but since I did it for the other fragrances, I will do it for this one. The accords on this one, according to Fragrantica, are sweet, lactonic, vanilla, and coconut. And the notes are lavender, pear, and bergamot at the top, whipped cream, praline, coconut, and vanilla orchid at the mid, and musky and woodsy notes at the base. So this one... So this one is just sweet. I get the praline, I get the coconut. That lavender is very prominent at the top. I get the coconut, I get the praline. When this one dries down, I do get those woodsy notes. And this one is just a very, very expensive smelling fragrance. It's the most expensive smelling one of all of my celebrity fragrances that I'm going to show you today. So this is a great buy if you're looking for an expensive smelling scent on a budget. You can't go wrong with this one. This one also is nice year round, but I think it's going to really shine in the summertime because in the winter, I feel like this would be a little bit too light to really project, but in the summertime, this might be very, very nice. So we're gonna test it out. We're in June, so summertime is upon us. Um, so we're gonna test this out this summer. I feel like this is going to really shine due to the fact that it's so light and it, it almost performs like a freshy wood, but it's very sweet and gourmand-like. So it's a very interesting fragrance, which I feel is why People love this one so much. It just smells so expensive. And of all of her fragrances, this one is my favorite. I've smelled all of them. And this one is the one that I feel like is the best, in my opinion. So yeah, this is Cloud by Ariana Grande. I saved the best for last because this is a fragrance that I have an emotional attachment to. I used to wear this fragrance in college and I thought about it as I was starting my perfume collection and I went on the hunt for it. I found it and we have since been reconnected and that is Heat by Beyonce. This fragrance and I have some really nice memories together of just my college days when my perspective on life was different. When I smell this, it kind of brings all those perspectives back. <laughs> this fragrance to me is intoxicating. It's sweet. It's ambery. It's floral. It's... It's a beautiful musk. It's like the most beautiful musk of all of the fragrances I've talked about today. This lingers on my skin in such a beautiful way. This is so feminine and I just love this fragrance so, so much. It's intoxicating. I don't know what it is, but something about the mixture of these notes is just, this is so intoxicating. This is the most intoxicating fragrance that I've talked about today.
I feel like this fragrance is so sweet and fragrant. You get that sweet top. It has florals in it. You, you get the musk and the amber. It's just gorgeous. The accords according to Fragrantica are sweet, fruity, amber, almond, floral, powdery, vanilla, musky, white floral, and nutty. At the top of this fragrance, you get peach, you get orchid, magnolia, and neroli. At the mid, you get almond, macarons, musk, and honeysuckle. At the base, you get amber, tonka bean, and sequoia. The sweet, sweet top is due to that peach. For me, that's a very prominent note on my skin, that peach. And then I also get the neroli at the top as well. The peach and the neroli are the most prominent notes, and they make for such a beautifully sweet opening. So good, so, so good. The almonds and the musk at the mid are the most prominent on my skin. It's a very subtle nutty, a very sweet nutty. It's nothing too overwhelming. It's not as nutty as some of the other fragrances with an almond that you might think of. This is more subtle and that musk is so prominent. I think the macarons is what combines with that musk at the mid to make this so intoxicating now that I'm looking at the notes. And then this is amber. This is amber city. I don't think the tonka bean is as prominent in the base, but the amber in this is gorgeous. So, so good. Oh my goodness. This is so good, y'all. The peach. You just get peach. The peach is so beautiful at the opening of this. Then those florals kind of blend together with that peach and makes for such a gorgeous mid. And this fragrance takes a little bit to dry down, maybe like 20 minutes or so. But once it's reached its full true dry down, that's when you get that beautiful amber, which kind of supports the other notes. You kind of get some of those previous notes in the dry down as well with a really strong amber and a musk that is enduring. The musk is just beautiful and it lasts the whole wear of the fragrance. So I would classify this as an amber floral musk, in my opinion. So yeah. Um, the full dry down is when you get the amber. And I think I'm also getting a little bit of the sequoia wood that they say is in the base of this one. It's not very tonka heavy to me, to my nose, but the amber is very prominent to my nose. So this is a gorgeous fragrance. I would highly recommend this. If you love musky fragrances, you should try this. Um, if you love amber or floral fragrances, you should try this. This is sweet, but it's not cloying. It's not overly sweet. It's just a beautifully blended fragrance. It's so good, y'all. So, so good. All right, my lovelies. So that wraps up my expensive smelling celebrity fragrance video. If you made it to this point in the video, don't forget to hit the like button because that really helps my channel. And also, if you enjoy fragrance videos on this channel, I share my fragrance journey. I'm not a fragrance reviewer, but making fragrance related videos is a new love of mine because I'm just getting into it and it excites me so if you want to follow my fragrance journey then I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and also turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload and before I go I want to remind you to keep letting your light shine in a world full of darkness it's up to you to shine brightly in all of your circles because the world needs to see your beautiful light I will be doing the same and I'll see you in another video very soon thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.